All right, guys, before I begin this video, I just want to let you guys know I'm giving away a Razer Blade gaming laptop. All you have to do to enter is like the video, leave a comment, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you want some extra entries, go down in the video description, and there'll be a link there. With that being said, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. What is going on, guys? Willis Gaming here. We are back again with another Anthem video. In this video, guys, I'm going to be going over the ways in which you can actually earn coin in the game or gold coins. Um, this is pretty much the currency in Anthem right now. Um, it's what you use to pretty much buy cosmetics, um, your appearance and stuff like that. Um, obviously, you, you do have the shards which you can buy for real money if you want to. But everything is accessible by using these things called coins. Now, you can earn coins in a variety of ways. Um, in this video, I'm going to be basically just compiling all of the things I found um, on getting coins the fastest. So you don't have to do the, I guess, boring stuff if you don't want to. So yeah, let's begin. So first of all, the most basic and easy way to get coins is by opening your Cortex. Now, I didn't actually know about this menu for a while, um, but if you press J and then press or press back if you're on controller, um, it'll bring up this uh, Cortex tab with your journal, your challenges, your library, your armory, your mailbox, and there's a few tutorials. Now go to the challenges tab. This is pretty much where you earn everything in the game. Um, it's a really good thing to get used to going back to because you can obviously see what you unlock. If you watched my previous video, I showed you how you can actually um, unlock the different types of paint jobs. You can also earn like epic blueprints. Um, but the main thing you actually earn from doing these things is actually gold coins. Um, so if we actually go to some of the challenges here, you can actually do. So I think I was doing uh, some sniper rifle challenges for my Devastator, but I, I completed it. So it's probably going to be in the completed tab. So if we go here, go to Devastator, I actually earned myself a epic Devastator just by getting 10 legendary kills. Um, but obviously, if you do other stuff like feats, just by collecting things, you can get 800 coin. Now, um, the easiest things I found out you can actually complete super, super fast is literally the, I think it's the daily, weekly, and monthly. Now, the daily is super easy. Obviously, I haven't done it for today, but you can just go through these and just look for the ones that give the most coins. So today, um, you have to earn the melee master feat by defeating enemies with melee attacks. So you literally just have to kill, like, I think it's like two enemies for the medal, and you have to do this three times. So six melee kills will bag you a thousand coins. So yeah, go and do that. It's super, super easy. This one is the daily is weapon. Earn the weapon master feat by using weapons to defeat enemies. Now you're just going to passively do that, and you have 20 hours to complete that. That's going to give 500 coins. Obviously, the weeklies are going to be a bit more longer, but they'll obviously give more coins. This one is complete five contracts, 2,000 coins. Easy. So yeah, get used to doing these challenges. They're super, super good if you want to get some coin super fast. Um, another thing that you can do, obviously, is these things here. These are the same, I guess, uh, the daily trials. So in Weapon Master, yeah, we just saw that. Um, you can either go to the challenge menu or just go here. And then we've got the weekly alliance system. Now, um, make sure you have a lot of people on your friends list that play Anthem because this is going to benefit you a ton. So pretty much as your standing increases, um, this will also increase the amount of coins that you gain for the week. So I'm going to get 3,150 coins. Um, and also your friends will actually contribute on how many coins you get. So if your friends are doing really well and doing a bunch of activities and stuff, you will actually benefit from this and get a ton of coin. Um, also, another thing you can do, other, apart from the weekly alliance system, is pretty much just going around and talking to people. So just talk to random people. I found this out by just like going around and clearing my Fort Tarsus. Sometimes when you finish a conversation, it doesn't really matter what path you choose. They'll just give you some gold and it's pretty cool. Sometimes you'll get up to like 600. I got like a thousand at one time. But you literally just have to go through skip. You don't even have to listen to it. And there you go. And sometimes you get some loyalty, which is nice. So yeah, um, another thing you can do is by doing strongholds. Yes, strongholds. If you don't know what strongholds are, they're pretty much the, I guess, sort of end game activity in the game where you pretty much uh, go in, do a bunch of encounters. And at the end of every encounter, you are rewarded with a loot box and you can also get coins. So coins will drop from the end. Normally, I think it's around 800 per stronghold. So if you're that, that type of person who just wants to grind a single thing you can do strongholds strongholds will give you like i said 800 per completion so to launch a stronghold you just open up the map and the, they're, they're basically these purple little things by here these little purple little castle things 
I think there's only three in the game right now, so choose your pick. Um, another thing you can do is free play. Free play events give a ton of gold. So this is probably the best place to be getting gold is by just going in free play and looking for these public events. They will be indicated with a little uh, purple, I guess, like earth symbol. Um, once you obviously are in the area, it will show up on the map. Go to it and pretty much once you complete it, you are given around 2,000 gold. Yes, it's a lot of gold, but these events are actually random. So... Um, there's not a chance you will go into free play and just find one every time, but if you see one, try and get involved and do it. Um, another thing you can do is legendary contracts. Now, legendary contracts are found on the board, and I'm pretty much some of them are, I guess, found once you start completing the game and have finished the game. They will appear on the contract board. Now, these will give a ton of gold as well, which is really good. Sometimes 2,000 gold or higher, so it's definitely worth checking out. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video on this little quick guide on how to earn coins most efficiently. People are confused and they're asking me all the time. So I thought I'd just wrap this video together for you guys to uh, explain things a bit better. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to enter that Razer Blade laptop giveaway, guys. If you want a chance at winning a gaming laptop, all you have to do is like the video, leave a comment, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you'd like some extra entries, go down in the video description. You can follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch if you want to get those extra entries for a better chance at winning. And yeah, this has been Willis Game, guys. I will see you in my next Anthem video, and peace.